<laughs> um, I ate it at the first time I ate an edible in San Francisco. A fan gave it to us, and I got I had such a big panic attack on the plane that I I almost got us kicked off the plane. I'm gonna pause you for one second. I heard that three out of five people crazy. who uh, endure panic on and fear of flying mm -hmm. um, are is stems from a bad edible experience that they had on a plane. Really? The doctor told me that. Wow. Yeah. I was already afraid of flying before the edible. Yeah. Um, I, because 9-11. Just I, ever since I know I was glued to the videos of those planes crashing in the tower that the next time I boarded a plane, that was the only image I had of a plane, like for like burned into my brain. So I was just convinced we were gonna die every time I went on a plane. Yeah. Edibles um, are just a risky thing to begin with. When I took that edible, I was in a terminal of the airport with Corinne and she was, it didn't kick in yet. And she was like, hey, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. You want anything? I'm like, yeah, chai latte. So she leaves. And then I'm in the thing. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh my God. I'm going to die. Oh my God. I'm going to die. And I started sweating, crying, snotting. And I texted Corinne. I'm like, you're going to kill me, dude. You're going to kill me. I ate an, a piece of that edible that the fan gave us. And she was like, you ate that. I fucking ate that the other night. And I thought I was going to die. I'm like, why didn't you tell me? And she's like, I don't, and she goes, she goes, I legit thought I was going to die. I'm like, you could have called somebody. She's like, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm like, oh my God, you are so, <laughs> wow, God. so fatalist. Fuck yeah. So God. Yeah. Um, living it. Living I'm like, Corinne, you should have come to my room. She's like, I mean, if that was the end for me, that was the mm. end for me. I'm like, wow. Um, writing notes. So, and then the, the, and then all of the, there the people like we were in the terminal and she comes back and she's like, I took the edible too. I had the same reaction. Don't worry. You're not going to die. Don't. And I was like, no, but I'm pretty sure I am. It was weird. I've never felt this feeling since. And I've done edible since then um, where I'm like, I, I felt like a bomb was coming towards me. I mm. could, that's the only way I can describe it. And then there was this little girl in uh, like, there was these, uh, this Muslim family and they were really sweet. And they had all these like cute little babies with them and they were in the burqas, but they were like, one of them looked over and I, I thought she looked over at me like that, like a, like a, mm, but she was just looking at me because I was screaming and crying. <laughs> and I was like, what does she want? Oh my God. And then this little girl comes over and she looks at me and she tilts her head back and she just stares at me. And I'm like, Corinne, that's happening, right? Is that happening? She's like, I don't think she's ever seen a grown woman cry, Christina. And I was like, oh my God. And then there were, there were at least four severely handicapped people in wheelchairs, severely like atrophied, like, Ugh. You know, and if you're that high and they, it just, it was bad. Everything seemed like a thing. Everything seemed like the, yeah. Like mm. it was like uh, trying to attack me. Damn. And it wasn't. It's amazing. That's why I hate edibles. Yeah. Everybody, everybody it was so bad. has a pretty spooky edible story. That one's flying is tough. I, 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 I like to fly. I'll take a red eye and I do like to take an edible. I do that now, but now I know me... not to take crack edibles. Yeah. Though. Sleep. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I have to fly sober, or I wake up like feeling horrible. Oh yeah, people drinking in the airport, I do not understand it. Oh, I did that the first couple of times because I had a fear of flying. It was bad. Mm. Did but you drink feel like shit after though? No, no. And also the drinking didn't help, so I'm like, well, I'm not gonna waste waste <laughs> that. May I ask you an interesting question? You may. Do you uh, drink to this day? Yeah. Great. A lot of comedians.